This is amazing. Now we are going to see about Google Gemini fine tuning, which means we are going to train the model and make sure that it respond as expected. So before fine tuning, when you give a number like 55, this will automatically generate some text randomly, which is not what I want. I want whenever I type 55, it's supposed to be 56 and it should be incremental without any other text. So how can we do this? How can we train the model to respond just like this? This is a simple use case, but you can modify this based on your requirement. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can set up Google Gemini fine tuning and how you can prepare the data and fine tune with that data. Then how you can evaluate and finally how you can integrate that with your own application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Google Gemini fine tuning. There's a huge price drop for Gemini 1.5 flash model and it's only seven cents for a million token. That is really cheap. And with context catching, it's much more cheaper. This is really cheap compared to GPT-40 mini. And you are able to train this model for free and you are able to integrate that with your own application with reduced cost with 100 plus additional languages and it's available for all developers. I'm going to take you through step by step on every single aspect of this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, you need to create an account in Google Cloud, then go to OAuth authentication, then create credentials, OAuth client ID, then on this, choose desktop app, giving a desktop app name and then click create. This will automatically create the client ID and client secrets, which you can just download and place it in your same folder. And I have renamed that as client underscore secret dot JSON. Next, we need to authenticate. Just going to type this command. I'll provide all the information in the description below. Google Cloud Auth application default login and then the client ID file. That is the client secret dot JSON file, which you have just downloaded and the scopes are these with generative language tuning. After this, click enter. This will automatically ask you to authenticate. So click the authenticate and click continue and allow access. Sometime you might also need to set up your OAuth consent screen in Google Cloud. Now in your terminal, pip install Google Generative AI and then rich and then click enter. Google Generative AI is the main package. Rich is just for printing in clear format. After this, click enter. Next, let's create a file called before.py to see how it looked like before fine tuning. Inside the file, I just call the gen AI generator model function and provide the model name. That is Gemini 1.5 flash 001 and pass these queries 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, and then these all values. And let's see how it's going to look like before fine tuning. So in your terminal, Python before.py and then click enter. And now, as you can see here, we asked 55 and the result is 55 is a number with more information about 55. But this is not what we want. We just want the response to be just 56. And similarly, when I entered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, my expectation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rather than explaining what the number is about. So same as I see here, I don't want to explain the same number again what it is. I just want it to respond with the next number like this. So we have completed the step of setting up. Now step number two, preparing data and fine tuning. Let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, import Google dot generate AI as gen AI, then import random time and then import print. Next, just printing the list of available models like this. And then we need to choose the base model. So we are going to choose the Gemini 1.5 flash. So just printing the base model for our reference. Next, we are going to set the name for our new model, which is going to be created. And then genai.createTuned model. There we are providing the source model. That is the base model name. Then this is the training data. You can also save this data in a separate file and then import it here directly. But in my case, to keep this tutorial quick and short and for easy for everyone to understand, I'm just keeping all the training data in the same file. So here you can see the text input is one. If the input is one, the large language model should output two. If it is three, it should be four. So similarly, I'm teaching the large language model how it should respond 
based on the input. So now you can create your own custom data and place it like this to train the model. Then providing the ID, that's the name of the model, the batch size, learning rate, and the epoch. It's better to keep this number higher for better training. You can even give 50 or 100. So now after creating this tuned model, next step, checking the model status by using the get tuned model function. Next, printing the model status, waiting for the training to finish by waiting 30 seconds. That's it. Literally this much amount of code and you are able to train your large language model. As a quick summary, we can directly name this model here as Gemini 1.5 Flash, even without all this. Then give a name for your model. Then this will train the model and you can get the status of the model training here. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app .py and then click enter. First, you can see the list of available models. Among that, we are using this Gemini 1.5 Flash 001 tuning model. We can also tune this 1.5 Pro 001 model because we can see that this tag, create tuned model tag is tagged on both this Flash model and also in this Pro model. So in our instance, we are using the Flash model and you can see here the fine tuning is happening. You can see that the training is now complete. Next, we are going to see how you can evaluate the created model. To do that, first you need to know the list of tuned models available. So using this code, we are going to check the list of tuned models. So in your terminal, python tuned models.py and here you can see the list of tuned models which I tried before. So the latest model is this one. So I'm going to copy the name of the model, then go to the file and we are going to call the model by using gen AI generator model and providing the model name here. That's it. And then to evaluate the process, I'm going to ask a few questions. The first one is 55, then a number like this, then four, then quatre, then three. And similarly, we are going to ask questions and find how the response is going to be like. So now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python eval.py. And you can see the response here. As per our fine tuning, when the query is 55, the answer is 56. And when the number is like this, it's again 56. When it's four, it's five, and similarly other results. Now fine tuning is successful. Now the final step, how you can integrate that with your own application, the latest model. The same command as we saw in the evaluation using the gen AI generator model function and providing the model name, that is a fine tuned model name as you can see here, then providing the query and then generate content to generate the response. That's it, as simple as that. Now you are able to tune Gemini model with your own custom data and then use that model in your own application with low cost. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.